Hello. Okay, next tutorial. This tutorial is meant to be for the character Ben Drowned from a cre creepypasta story of the same name. So if you don't know what creepypastas are, I'll pretty much I'll sum it out for you really quickly. It's basically a website out there that people submit their own really short horror stories to, and Ben Drowned is one of them. It's probably one of the more creepy ones, I think, in my own opinion, because it comes with like video annotations to go along with the story. I don't want to tell you too much about it without spoiling it, really, but it's basically based around the old uh, Nintendo 64 game Zelda... Ocarina of Time or Link Ocarina of Time. I don't play the Link games, sorry if I get that wrong, but the videos are really creepy and it features this character. So I've it's been requested an insane amount, so I'll quickly flash on the screen now the first people that requested it because it, it's insane. I get this requested at least 20, 30 times a day. But the first person who requested it requested it a long time ago, but it was Emic Me. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. I'll probably name there. So thank you, you're the first person, but thanks everyone that requested this. A lot of you are probably thinking about this style. What have I done? What it doesn't look anything like Ben Drowned, that kind of thing. Hopefully that doesn't cross your mind. But it's basically the original Ben Drowned looks very much like just a regular person with a huge grin and pointy ears. There's nothing there that I could think of doing a makeup from aside from painting on a huge grin. Um, so I decided to research it a little bit more, and a lot of people seem to interpret this Ben Drown character as a character that looks dead with blood rolling down his eyes. Um, that's through loads and loads of fan art out there. And I wasn't sure which one to do, so I put a, a request out on my Facebook fan page. I'll pop a link here if you guys want to join that. It's awesome. Oh, it's awesome for me to interact with you guys. Um, and everyone seemed to want to see this version, the bladed, Bleeding Eye version. So yeah, why not? I thought I'd do it. But yeah, so that's my excuse as to why it looks like this and doesn't look like a regular elf. Yeah, I hope that's okay. So, yeah, um, not much else to say about this look, really. So, if you'd like to see how to recreate this elfiness, stay tuned. So, to start the tutorial off, I'm going to block out my eyebrows. So, I'll pop a link here to a tutorial that I've done in the past to teach you guys how to do that, just to make this video a little bit shorter. The reason I'm blocking them out is because I want to draw them on again in a lighter colour so that you can hardly see them, maybe. I'm not too sure yet, but ultimately they need to be more blonde. So if you've got blonde eyebrows, you might not have to do this step. I just want to draw them on a little bit lower maybe, a bit more arch. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to block them out and get back to you. So full of foundation, I'm going to go for a very, very washed out, dead white skin tone. Yeah, so I'm going to use a mixture of Snazzery watercolour in peach and a tiny, 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 tiny drop of some black watercolour. That's still by Snazzery. Now the effect it gives is a really grey, grey, dead skin tone, which is going to be really nice hopefully for this look, because I don't want it to be too much full of life. He's meant to be dead after all. So I'm going to pile that all over my face and my neck. I'm not going to bother my ears because the wig's going to cover that. Then I'm going to take a copper watercolour by Snazaroo and I'm going to draw around my eyebrows a tiny bit more straighter, I think, actually, than my eyebrows. So they're going to be start a little bit further in, be fairly straight and then taper off, I think. We'll see. Okay, so then I'm going to take some yellow Snazzery watercolour and just go over it again, but with just tiny little flicks, not covering the entire thing, just to blonde it up a little bit. So that's what I'm left with. Okay, so granted it's a lot, it's a big contrast between the skin tone and that, but the hair is going to be quite blonde, so yeah, the eyebrows need to match. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that on the other eye again. Then I'm going to take some Grimace Black Cream in 101, and I'm going to use that to do some contouring. So I'm going to take the colour and go down the sides of my nose, and I'm also going to go around my nasal labial folds just to give that, that grinny expression. So what I'll do is I'll record myself doing it, and then I'll blend it out afterwards just so you can see where I've drawn the lines. Then I can take a new brush and start blending the colour. So I'm going to blend the sides of the nose completely down. I'm going to blend the eye bags that I've drawn all the way up. And this way, this nasal label fold, these nasal folds here, I'm going to blend them out as well. So it leaves the inner areas completely clean of colour. That's why it looks puffy and wrinkled. So I've blended it out so it's fairly subtle around the eyes. It just adds a bit more character to it. So then I'm going to use some sleek uh, ink pot in Dominatrix, so black. And I'm going to use that to line both the waterline and tide line of both my, of both my eyes. Because it's going to make the eyes pop a little bit more. For the lips, I'm going to use the same shade that I used for my foundation. But I'm going to add a tiny bit more black into it, just so they look a bit more lifeless than the face. So before I 
do my eyes, the whole blood trickling down, all that creepiness. I'm going to put my contact lenses in. Now, I don't usually put these in until the very end because I like the whole look coming together. But I think if I'm going to have some blood underneath my eyes, there's a chance that I'm going to ruin it when I put my lens. So the lenses that I'm going to use are all red Scalera lenses. They're from eyesbright.com and are called Cyclops, I believe pretty creepy red lenses, the ones I used in my rake tutorial actually. Um, I mean if you haven't got sclera lenses I can't get hold of them, not to worry. Um, as I said this is the fan art look so nothing's really set in it so you could always just wear regular red contact lenses, the normal, um, I think it's 15mm lenses, regular lenses and you get them from uh, most websites and they're quite cool. So I just think I have these and I think it will make it look more theatrical. I think that's the, the end result we're going for really isn't it? So yes yeah, so I'm going to pop these in and we'll carry on. So there we are, so now it's time to put the fake blood to use. So I'll pop a link here to a tutorial that I've done in the past to teach you guys how to make fake blood if you want to make your own. I'm just using a regular stage blood that I've made a long time ago. I keep the stuff in storage at this point. <laughs> so yeah, the idea is I'm going to apply it directly underneath my eyes and allow it to trickle down two to three times, nothing too much, like my white nun tutorial. I just want it to some to be a lot longer than others. Now the idea is I'll apply the blood in one area at a time and then let it trickle down naturally. So if I was to paint it on, it would look really, really... It would just not look natural. Not the blood coming from the eyes is meant to be natural, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to apply it and let it fall. So there we are. So make sure you lean in the direction that you're pouring it so it goes around the mouth. Yeah. So now I've done that, I'm going to take my black watercolour again by Snazaroo, and I'm just going to apply it really lightly with hardly any water just underneath my eye, just mixing in slightly with the blood. Try not to obviously use the same brush when you put it back in the pot because otherwise yuck. But I just want to darken up the eye area a tiny little bit. And I'm just tracing the colour down ever so slightly down each trickle of blood following the natural line that's formed just so it tapers off into natural colour. Kind of looks like it's coagulated and then got lighter. I, I just think it looks more creepy with the eyes. <laughs> oh dear, this is one of those looks where you could keep thinking of different things to add to make it less simple, so I'm going to do that, why not? <laughs> I'm just going to take the black snazzery watercolour again and a medium fluffy brush and I'm going to go just in the corners of my, just right in the corners right here and across my brow bone either side just to make the eyes look a bit more sunken in. Just make it as blended in as you can. Okay, so I've gone for that shape there, just kind of makes the eyes look a bit more sunken in. I don't know. <laughs> so then I was going to, I was going to get some um, hairspray to set the blood trickling down, but then I thought, sod it, I'm going to need some black hairspray. I know you're using every tutorial lately, but it just seems to give a really nice shaded effect, and plus this will act as a setting agent for the blood. Yeah, unless you use um, gelatin blood, in which case it would set nicely, but yeah. So, I'm going to use some regular black hairspray, just from a regular party shop, spray it from a distance, and I'm going to spray from here all the way around the sides of my face and neck. It just adds a really nice effect to the character, it makes it look like it's peering from the shadows, and you see this highlight a bit down the side of the face. But yeah, so don't spray it too hard, just spray it from a distance, really lightly going around in a ventilated area, breathe in before you do, obviously you don't want to choke on this stuff, it'll be gross. Um, <laughs> and really, really slowly just shade in. So that's the effect that I've got. I've blatantly coloured my ears in by mistake, but never mind, eh? the hair's going to cover that. <laughs> so then before I do anything else, I'm going to apply my wig and my costume and we'll go from there. And there we go. So I popped on a blonde wig that I've cut really short so it stops at the chin. And I've just got these two little bangs, as Americans like to call them, going across. <laughs> um, I popped on two little elf ears, which I've painted to match my uh, foundation, which I got these elf ears from um, just a random website on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I just wanted them to attach to the wig rather than my ears, just to look a bit more elfy. I think Link's an elf. I don't know. I've not actually played it. I just know he has pointy ears, so yeah. <laughs> and I popped on a green hat, which is pretty much a Santa elf hat, really, with a little floppy bit over the back. <laughs> and um, I was going to buy a uh, elf costume, not an elf costume, a link costume, like it's all green and it's got this sash going across, but the actual Ben Drowned like avatar that appears in the videos with the story, he's just wearing all green with one singular belt going across, so you can't see the belt anyway, so I thought I'd just pop on a green top, why not? <laughs> Obviously if you're going to wear this look out, you'd paint your hands as well and arms, but you know me, as I'm doing these tutorials, it's just, you can't really see that on camera, and plus it makes a mess if I paint my hands, so... Yeah, I'll leave that up to your imagination. But yeah, so that's my um, Ben Drowned look. I hope I did it justice. It's one of those looks where it's been requested so much. There's a lot of pressure on me to get it right. So 
I hope you guys don't mind that I went in this direction rather than doing the original bend round look because it's very very simple and I wanted it to look a bit more creepy. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial, thank you so so much for watching. If you like it please make sure to you know the usual, rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz, it super super helps me out. And yeah, so until next time, bye.